Oh, there he goes. Get him out, get him out. No. Get him out. No. What is that? Oh. No drag. Oof. Lord have mercy, we made it across. Damn, that was rough. Now we get some sheltered water here. Nice. There's a big boy Kuda. Saw him a little too late. I was looking at all the little ones. That's a good sign though. Saw all these swirly marks. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Don't spook them. Don't spook them. Don't spook them. Those are all mullet. Oh, those are all mullet. I'm spooking them. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. Stay around. Stay around. Yeah, go back into your hole. I'll leave you. I'm leaving you alone. Go back in your hole. No, no, no. I'm not ready for you. Go back. Uh, only a few of them went back. Dang it. Maybe they'll circle back. Oh, that would make my day. Let me tuck up over here. Man, I should have. There they are. They'll go back. I'm not going to mess with them. Ooh, that is going to make the day awesome. Go back into the hole over there. Go back in the hole over there. I got to get my net ready. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Yeah, a little bit of a windy day today, blowing 12 to 15s out of the east. Uh, I guess my better judgment, I decided to make the long run out to the backcountry islands off the seven mile bridge launch. Uh, the main reason why is because we finally went over to the uh, time change. So gained an hour and that makes a huge difference to my fishing since I primarily am able to fish in the afternoon. So big difference so i uh, figured i'd kick it off by making the run out here haven't been out here all winter so uh we're gonna go and see what we see seen all these uh mullet there packed in there oh they're over there now i made the mistake as i ran up on them i saw the squirrels i thought that's what they were but then i got too close but i think if i sit here and settle down uh they might go back over there or at least i'll be able to throw on them i've got the five foot net if I get about two or three of those mullets, it's going to be beautiful. So let's see what we can do. Hey, look at this guy. Just checking me out. So hey, there's some nice shade. Hey, look at that pretty blue. <laughs> pretty little guy. Perfect for a five foot cast net. Poof. Getcha. Wow, all the living things are out here today. Those guys are staying out in the middle, going backwards. That's the bigger pod. There's another section over here, not as big. Let me see if I can at least turn on these guys. The wind's blowing that way, so that at least will be good for me. If I get in this area facing that way, they can zoom all they want to and I can hit them. into the sun so I can't really see them really well but I could track their movements there they are Keep coming. No, don't turn. Keep coming. Keep coming. Oh, I don't know if I got them. Oh, I got one at least. Got a little bit greedy there. Had to make that long launch. Settle down, see where those guys go. Got greedy, but at least it worked out. I got one. I'll try to hit those guys and then drift back and then hit these guys one more time. I think they're gonna stay around. They like this little pocket here. I'm gonna put this guy in my little live well. I don't wanna lose him. Let's 
them. Oh, I got something. Mohara, probably. Yep. I'll take you for bait. Oh, that pinfish. Either way, I'll take you. Oh, right there. Right there. Oh no. Oh no. There they come. Oh, that was right on them. I got too early. Dang it. Oh no, I got one. Yeah, buddy. Is two enough? Two is actually enough. We'll give it a minute and I might try hitting him one more time. Uh, two is enough. Two is enough. And I've got that pinfish. Let's not get greedy. Sweet. It's going to be a good day. Well, I see the water's kind of up, but uh, ooh, there's some nice mangroves in there. Come back and see what's down there. Worth these cuts, got some bait here. That's interesting. All these mangroves are gonna come out. So I can play with those. I got the mullet, so definitely catch some of them. Might be some other bigger creatures hiding out underneath there. Let's see what else we see. We'll come back over here. That looks like a good nest. Good numbers of, uh, well, shark, but good numbers of all the little kudas around. Looking good and healthy. Finding good pockets of glass minnows around here. Probably why these guys are here. Wouldn't hurt to maybe uh, cast net a bunch and then. Uh, start chumming with those to get things uh, moving around here see what's in here because everything's way back in there and they're not going to be out on this outside edge except the kudas and the shark but I want to see what else is in here still got a couple more hours so see if things drop that's a pretty big shark Five footer maybe. Big enough to eat a toe. All right, I've done a kind of circumnavigated all these different uh, edges and seen what I've seen, which was not much. Uh, but again, high tide, so their stuff is way back in there. But I'm gonna try to work these little holes here to see if I could build up some uh, uh, excitement. Activity breeds act action, so. Uh, I've got these mullet, I've got two of these and one other bait fish there. So I think what I'm going to use is just the head. So I'm not using up the good chunks. Since all I'm wanting to do is to pull some of these fish out and then uh, get a little bit of a feeding frenzy going. And plus so that I could see what's in there. And then anything good will eat these anyways. Using the all about the bait weighted circle hook. I think this is a 4018. Cause I oh I see some mangroves. Got all those hard head uh, minnows there. See what kind of stuff is down there. I'm going to put on a little bit of heavier drag. Saw some mangroves, so they should be pecking at it, and then uh, that might generate some other fishies coming. Oh, so I'm playing with it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, didn't let them run long enough. Well, that was my not big snapper that's kind of the deal with this big old chunk bait though Oops. 
Something's messing with it. I don't know if something's got it. It's snugged up now. Something's picking it up. Letting it go, picking it up. Probably not big enough to handle that big old head, but oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Dang it. Ah, oh, stupid sharks. I barely got the pink out of it. And that's what we don't want. But I've been seeing so many sharks. It's bound to happen. Dang it. Alright, let it take it, let it take it, let it eat it, eat it, eat it. There I go. Oh! Dang it. That was a good one. That was something good. Alright, I'll sacrifice another chunk. Alright, something's taking it, taking it, taking it. Oh! There it goes! Oh! Alright, I'm moving. I don't think those are big enough snappers. They're decent ones, but... Bait stealing suckers. I need to be able to see what I'm catching. Lots of small ones, lots of small ones. Small ones over there. Nothing that I'm interested in. Oh no! Oh, no! Give me my bait back. Anything else coming out? Action breeds action. Anything, anything? Come on over here. Not a bad mangrove. I want my bait back, buddy. There he goes. That would be an eater. Mullet chunk. All about the bait weighted circle hooks. Don't do anything, just let go. Let go. I want my bait back. You're not stealing it. There he goes. Oh no, no, my mullet, my mullet, my mullet. No, no. There he goes. Stay in there. Stay in there, mullet. And you, you get out of here. Could have been dinner. Whew, got my bait back. Big shark boy. Oh, he's going to get excited. Yeah, that's right. You know better. You know the sting of the uh, weighted circle hook. All right, buddy. Let's let you go. Thanks for playing. Where's all the game fish at? Non mangrove, non shark, non cuda. All right, I saw a dark tail and some bigger mangroves out there. So I'm gonna go back around, mark that spot, and reset. Some pretty big chunking mangroves. And then I saw a dark tail swim in the shadows Ugh. that's where all those kudas were all right I see some bigger mangroves inside there like that those dudes all right that'll work that makes me happier
All right, I saw him. There's a big old snook in there. Big old shark came through there and scared everything up. And then I saw him come out and then circle there. That's what I saw. It's a big old snook. All right, let's try this again. I took the rods down, so. Uh, I think he picked it up. He picked it up. Oh, let it go. Picked it up. Oh, a shark. Shark, shark, shark. Get out of here, bro. Ruining it. See, there he goes. He's going to go right back where in there. Right in my fishing hole. Here he comes. Make me catch you. All right, try this again. There's some big old mangroves in there. There, that's a good one. That's the one. Oh, got it, got it, got it. Oh, oh, oh. Playing with it. Playing with it. I think you ate it. I think you ate it. There he is. Uh, just a little bit nicer mangrove. Not the bigger boys that I'm looking for. Let's see if it kicked anything out. All right. Yeah, and the much better mangrove. There he goes. Mullet chunks and weights, weighted circle hooks for the wind. That would be dinner. There's bigger ones in there. Oh, you stole the bait. Give that back. Give it back. Shark. Shark check. Shark check. Alrighty. What to do, what to do. Well, I think I'm going to leave this spot. Um, I'll stick a pin in it. This is the only spot that I saw the snook. I could stay here and just play with these guys. That stupid shark keeps coming around. No, that's a different one. Nurse shark. Uh, but I don't want to kind of blow up this spot. The water's dropping, so that's going to start forcing the fish out. So I don't want to kind of mess this spot up. So, whoop. Is that a shark or was that something good? Oh, back in there, big old shark again. All right, let's move on down. Oh, there he is. Big old lemon shark. Ruining it for me. All right, I went to... Another loop around, took about a half an hour or so. Not seeing much except this one spot that just got a lot of good sized mangroves and some hidden sea monsters back in there. Um, the winds are cranking. You can see it white capping just in this little channel here and I gotta go out to the open channel. So I don't think I'm gonna be here late enough where this water is gonna drop far enough i need to drop another foot before it starts pushing stuff out so i think i'm gonna play with these guys now there are some big chunker mangroves in here but the problem with it is is that i'll never get a bait to them so realistically i should use a chunk about this size and then the other ones will be grabbing it playing with it grabbing it trying to eat it but they can't eat it because it's too big and then those big ones will see it and then they'll come in and grab it but it's a tug of war getting them because they'll want it way back into the uh, mangroves and flip of a coin if you can get them out. But I don't have enough. If I got three mullets, then I would, but I only got the two. This is the last of the first one. See them all just sitting right there. So I'm going to cut this guy in half. We'll just play around here a bit and go through these baits. And then I'm going to head out of here because I got to take it back really slow because I don't want to get all wet. Uh, I think there's some big chunkers over there. Put it back in this hole again. 
See if I can watch which ones come out and get it. Oh, playing with that already. Tugging on it. Oh, oh, something. No, they're just playing. There we go. Oh, no. Not the biggie ones. Just another eater sized one. Good size, they're all legal. I'm getting legal size sandwich chunkers. But not the bigger ones that I want. Yeah, a frying pan size. I want my bait back. I just want my bait back. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Where's those bigger boys at? See, that's why, I mean, that's a, it's a decent sized chunk of bait, but it's still not big enough to prevent those size fish. I mean, they're keepers, but these other ones are four to six inches bigger. And that's why I need a bigger chunk bait that these fish can't eat it. All right, back in there. Get to some spots where they don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I think he's got it. Eating it, swimming away with it. Put it down, got it again. There he goes. Oh, my Goliath. Gooper. Well, that's all right. Another species, at least. Dragging my anchor. And I figured there'd be more of these guys. Bigger ones than that. Action breeds action. A very pretty little dude. I just want my chunk back. 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 There it goes. Have a good day. Got my chunk back. Ooh, this is going to come off. One more fish out this bait. Oh, there's my buddy shark. Back again. I mean, look at the size of this. Oh, there's my snook. There's that shark's chased him out of there. He's going back in there. Yeah, there's Mr. Snook Snook. About a four and a half foot shark. Ruining my spot. But that is about the only other way of getting those fish out. <laughs> they're just hidden way inside there. I have a feeling there's an inlet behind here that goes inside. All right, let's see if we can get it right where all that white bird poop. I get it in that hole there. Oh, bingo. Uh, not too far in there. Oh, something's playing. Something's tugging on it. Which is actually good. If, if those small ones take the bait and then swim with it inside, it gets down inside there and... Oh, shark coming. Eat it quick. Eat it quick, big fish. Oh, another shark. Uh-oh. Oh, something's going... Oh! Oh, oh, something's taking it. Oh, no. Does that shark have it? Oh, I think I got the... No, that wasn't the shark. Oh. That wasn't the shark. Something had it and... I didn't pull them out because all the stupid sharks. Dang it. Look at all the snook. All those sharks chased them out. There's three or four of them. I had no bait. Oh, that just spooked them. Because they're on like high alert. See, there's all those snook. Three snook and that shark chasing them. That big shark's... Oh, I don't have him, do I? 
Oh no, oh no, mangrove. Oh, you're look you're in a bad spot. <laughs> yeah, there's three or four four sharks. I mean they're creating action. There's a fifth one in there. Yeah, there goes those snooks, so I figured. All those snooks are going to get pushed out of there. All right. Oh. It's like sending in the dogs to go after pheasant. Now this is a Mohara. These are excellent baits, both alive and dead. They don't have a they're not as spiny, so they're not like a pinfish where you're going to get poked. Nice soft meat, but they're just, uh, you can't really hook and line them. And they're pretty fast cast, cast netting. Usually I catch them uh, by accident. Look how shiny they are. So I'm going to use this guy. I'm going to cut him in half at kind of an angle. That'll give me two baits that are a uh, decent size, but I could use a, a bucket full of these guys and be happy. Or pinfish this size I'd be happy I did bring one squid roll I was planning to come out here and uh, catch some pinfish but I ran it to those snook but let's use this guy up my other uh, molt's still alive and kicking I don't want to kill him unless I have to come on bigger fishies taking it Swimming with it. Oh, 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 there he goes. Off the tree branch. The mangrove kite fishing. Heck, I'm gonna catch my limit of mangroves right in this one spot. They're getting bigger, so that's good. Mohara chunks for the win. Ah, getting bigger. Weighted circle hooks. Make it easy. No sharks. Uh, oh wow, you got way in there. Yep. Not the big ones I wanted. Oh, look out with that shark. Oh, 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 oh. That shark's pretty wary. Ugh. Another nice eater. At least I got a, got a good mangrove spot. Oh, my bait. Little sharks. But there are some bigger ones there. Man, that guy's big. I need a big live pinfish. Oh, did something get it? it? Kicked up dust right where I was at. Oh, there he goes. Get him out. Get him out. Go. Oh. Get him out. Go. Oh. What is that? Oh. No drag. Oh. 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 Yeah. No sharks. Kubera. Uh, you're getting into shark territory. Uh, that's a keeper. If, it means a baby. And that big. 
All about the bait weighted circle hook for the winner. <laughs> there we go. Boom, baby. <laughs> All about the bait weighted circle hook. Kubera snapper. That's the way we do it. All right. That bad boy. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. Well, all right. He's going to revive him, but there he goes. Right back in there. Nice. That's my Hail Mary fish. I get to go home fish. All right. So this is the all about the bait weighted circle hook. Uh, this is custom designed by me and produced by me. Uh, love this bait. Uh, primarily when I'm drifting baits back, the, the different weights allow you to control the descent so depending on the current, depending on the depth, the type of fish, where you want that bait. So when I'm fishing these mangroves, uh, especially where I know that I have to get it underneath those mangroves, but I don't want the bait to be drifting right through there really quickly. I want it to sink and kind of slow, either stop and then wait for that scent to dissipate and bring those fish to it or do a slow bounce down into my, my strike zone where I want it to end up. But this gives me a lot of control. So I've got 132nd, 116th. This is a 18th. Uh, I went heavier because I got those little slots in those mangroves. So I pitch it as far back as I can and I want it to sit down. I don't want to wash it away really quickly and then it's gone and I have to try again. If I make a good cast, I want to sit it there. I'm using chunk baits, so it's scent uh, variety. So just let it sit there, let those fish come to it. Uh, it's a circle hook, so you don't have to jerk on it. You just basically let them run, let them run. Keep your rod tip below the mangrove roots so they can swim all they want to and you're not going to get stuck. After you've given them enough time, at least five count, then close that bell and just wait for that rod to just load up. Once you got that, put a little pop on it and just start reeling. No jerk bass hook set and you're good to go. The circle hooks in the corner of the mouth wedges itself so you don't have to do anything. But perfect perfect bait for all of these kind of circumstances my go-to so there you go all about the bait.com all right i think i'm gonna call it i've got one more mullet in my bait well still happy and healthy i am whoa but uh as soon as i cast netted this one and then the second one that i had two i knew it was going to be a good day it always works out that way uh it's all about the bait get nice fresh local bait and uh, some weighted circle hook and you'll just crank them in and have some good fishing time so I'm just gonna let this guy go don't need them so no reason to keep them and kill them but uh, yeah so now I am heading home got a long ride back it's gonna be windy and wet so I'm gonna take it slow but yeah very happy so let's get on going all right there you go we barely made it back before the sun set Oh, that was brutal back on the back. Oh, not good. Wind against the tide, 12 to 15 knots out in that channel. Oh, rough. I'm just drenched. But fun day. Uh, wasn't worth it. Now that I'm back, yeah. <laughs> About half an hour ago, no. But the key thing is, you catch the bait, you're going to catch the fish. I can tell it's going to be a good day. As soon as I cast net that mullet or any other bait, I know it's going to be good. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next video. Bye. Sun has set. Go home, take a hot shower.